Talk about serious overkill. There's no reason a shop cart needs to go to this level. This little cart just looked way too handy to leave behind at the scrapyard, so I brought it home, but I also think it deserves just a little bit of fixing up. Might be a good candidate for some kind of a restoration project, so I'm going to clean as much of the rust off of it as I can. I'm going to take the old casters off because they don't roll real well anymore and they're a little bit mismatched. Then we'll have to come up with a plan on how to make it look good again. This is mostly dirt instead of rust. The metal actually seems pretty solid.
It seems like a bit of twist is inevitable in these projects, at least it is for me, and a good set of winding sticks helps you find where the twist is, then you just have to plane it out. A lot easier with power tools, but unlike blacksmithing, I try to keep my woodworking as hand tool oriented as seems reasonable. While these battens will help reinforce the seam in the top, I'm not really too worried about it. Their main purpose is to provide a stop to keep the top from sliding off these little index inside the top tray and that way it'll stay put. Talk about serious overkill, there's no reason a shop cart needs to go to this level. But it was a fun project. And I just love the way this cherry looks with the pine tar finish on it. I wasn't really sure what that would come out like, but I'm ready to go buy some more cherry and make anything else out of it just for a chance to do this again. It wasn't a very big woodworking project, but it really came out nice and I could see this as a small table or something. Heck, this cart would look good in the house. If I put non-marring wheels on it, it might have been a good kitchen cart. But with the steel wheels, it's got to be on a concrete floor or the brick floor here in the shop at the very least. So it's either going to be a shop cart here or maybe I'll take it down to the basement wood shop 
probably be handy in either place. But to be perfectly honest, I didn't really think about what I was going to do with it. It just looked like a cool project, and it was a shame to see these carts sitting at the scrapyard rusting. In fact, if you live in the area and you want to go to Salt Creek Steel, there are at least two or three more of these, perhaps in worse condition than this. But with new wheels on them, they'd all be completely usable carts to put stuff in in the shop. Most likely what I'll do is take things that I'm cutting for big production runs and I'll put them down in here and then I can get to them as I need them. I can cut them all up, do the deburring, any grinding out in the grinding area, roll them in in the cart instead of bringing them in a handful at a time or putting them in a bucket. And then I can get to them easily as I work in the forge. And the same then is true with parts that have been forged and allowed to cool that need to go back out for some more grinding or some other kind of work, or maybe they need to go to the drill press. This thing's going to get beat up. I know that. It's going to chip the powder coating. The wood top is going to get beat up. But at least it has a chance to start off in good shape. In fact, Janet named this cart Lucky because she thinks it's lucky to have found a new home. And it's not as much overkill as it could have been. After we picked this up at the powder coater, we had another stop in town that just happened to be right next door to the rhino lining place. And I almost popped in to see what they would charge me to rhino line the insides of this. I decided that was pushing it a little bit. So instead, I cut some rubber mat. This is old conveyor belt matting. And I'm going to put that down in here. Maybe someday I'll get something a little bit newer that looks better but that'll at least protect the bottom of the cart. The sides will still get a little bit beat up. I hope you enjoyed watching this project as much as I enjoyed working on it. In the meantime, I hope you have time in your day to get out to your shop, make something, but stay safe, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next video.